Hey everyone, so on Costco, um, $12.99, but I want to say this might be wrong because on all the packaging it says $11.79 a pound, so $38, lowest in here is $20, and this is for the Farm Fresh uh, Salmon, and this is Product of Norway. Okay, on this side we have Wild Alaska Seafood, Product of USA, so $13.99. So $20, um, lowest in here I want to say is $17, and this one is a sea bass, okay, it was previously frozen it says, processed in the USA, product of Australia, $25 a pound, so $37 or $36.50. Then we have fresh Atlantic salmon portions. Okay, product of Norway, processed in the USA, $11.99 a pound, so $58.27. And then cod, okay, product of USA, this is a $23.37, $8.99 a pound. More product of Norway, okay, this is the fresh steelhead fillet, um, farm raised for $21.21 and $10.99 a pound. And tilapia here is $5.99 a pound and it's product of Honduras, so $28.09. It looks like lowest in here is $22. We also have the wild fresh ahi tuna. This one is product of Costa Rica, processed in the USA, um, $17 a pound, so $16.14. And fresh catfish, you guys. I haven't had catfish in forever. Let's see. Um, raised product raised in the USA, $8.99 a pound, so $25. And $2.99 per pound, the pork loin a back rib. So let's see, let me grab one out. This one's $2.99 a pound, so $27. And the highest in here is $28. And I want to say in this one, do you get three or is this a two one? This one's, uh, these are loin back. Oh, okay, these, so you only get two, I think. I think you get two. But the spare ribs, you get 30. Clam. Okay, fresh live clam. Um, a product of USA. This one is four fifteen a pound, so twenty sixty three. Let me pull some of the fish out. So eight ninety nine a pound. Um, let's see, product of Greece, also known as European sea bass, so thirty five dollars. And this one, the whole tilapia. This one is product of Colombia, three ninety nine a pound, so thirteen twenty nine. Just giving you some ideas. A lot of people have been asking me about like the seafood. Uh, this one, Costco wild caught shrimp, farm raised. I'm not too sure where that's from, but it's gonna be ten fifty a pound, so forty two dollars. I'm just gonna round that. It's forty one ninety nine. White shrimp farm raised, product of Thailand, ten ninety nine a pound, so thirty five thirty nine. And then we have this one, the whole head on, farmed white shrimp. This one, let's see, farm raised. I'm not too sure where this one's from, it doesn't say, but 550 pounds, so $22. And over here, whole head, the whole head on product of Ecuador, $5.99 a pound, so $17.37. And wild warm water lobster, okay, product of the Bahamas, uh, $25 a pound, so $63.97. Uh, the highest I want to say is $65, lowest for the lobster tail is $52. And then next to me, you know, the crab. Let's see, this one is $12.99 a pound, so $38.97. This is three pounds right here. For three pounds for $40 is kind of not bad because they usually charge you like a five pound in the crab place and they're like 20 something. So yeah, you get three pounds for 40. And then we have the Golden King Crab, $32.99 a pound. This one is $60.70. The lowest in here is 40. The beef ribeye, $13.99 a pound. 
Oh, the rib eye steak is fifty three oh two. You know, thirteen ninety nine a pound. The lowest in here for looking for steak, I want to say forty eight. The next to me, we have the New York is ten ninety nine. So the lowest in here is going to be forty five. Highest is fifty two. Okay, bison is ninety percent lean. Uh, this is going to be twenty dollars, and of course, you will get two. Next to me is the Kirkland, nineteen eighty nine. And you will get three. It is. It doesn't say like grass fed or anything. It's just um, no added growth hormones. I think Sam's Club has like a grass fed one. And three ninety nine. This one is going to be eighty eight percent lean, twelve percent fat. Three ninety nine a pound. So we're looking at about twenty seven. I want to say it could go up to thirty dollars. But again, in the business center, I buy the big like tube one because I use it for my dog. And it's 10 pounds for uh, 35 bucks. And $25 a pound, we have the beef loin tenderloin. Um, this is USDA choice grade, so 115 25 a pound. I'm just gonna round that, it says $24.99. And then next to me, the tenderloin USDA prime is a 25. So 52, 48, the highest in here is $66. And more prime beef. This is going to be $20 a pound. This is beef ribeye, $85.96. Lowest in here, $75. Next to me, oh, is that the same one? Oh, this one's going to be New York steak. So $15 a pound, $71 for USDA prime. So the top sirloin is $7.99 a pound. The lowest in here is a $31 dollars highest is 42 usda choice this one is nine dollars a pound for the flank steak steak sorry 39 47 for the price the highest is 47 and that is usda choice and then next to me we did see this in the previous video uh the beef loin flap meat this is nine dollars a pound so 33 dollars i do feel like these cuts are better than um sam's and then we have the uh, beef loin tri-tip, $8 a pound, so $24. It could go up to $33. This is USDA choice. And then we have beef chuck steak boneless, like for carne asada. It says $30, uh, $22 the price, uh, $5.79 a pound. And the beef chuck steak boneless is $5.79, like here's another one, $40 pretty much. And you know, Stew meat is $4.49 a pound. So the highest in here is $25. Lowest is $22. And this is pretty great because Walmart, you know, or Fry's, Kroger, wherever you get your meat, you only get like half. And you're paying like almost $10. Bucks. I normally buy this in bulk. Next to me, we have the beef chuck pot roast. Uh, $5.29 a pound. So $43.33. Lowest in here will be $37. And USDA Prime again, this is going to be the round. So $5.49 a pound, $30.80. And then over here we have the beef back ribs are $4.29 a pound. So $26.21. Lowest in here is a $21. And then we have the brisket hole. Okay, it's going to be $3.99. It is USDA Prime. So $73.50. Lowest in here looks like $54. And then over here we have the beef ribeye whole. This is $12.39 a pound. So the total of this one is $275. Lowest is $202. And pork chops, they're pretty thick here. They're $250 a pound. So the lowest in here is $16. Highest is like $20. You can make two meals out of this, you butterfly it. Okay, we have pork shoulder style, like boneless ribs they're 369 a pound so 21 14 lowest is 20 and then here's the pork ribs uh these are 350 a pound so pretty much 40 dollars i'm gonna round that and you get three in this one right yeah you get three in here i found out you get three in the back ones too oh, okay then we have the boneless pork loin uh this is 239 a pound so 21 29 you can also make like pork chops out of this too if you choose to go this route or like a little mini roast uh like a tenderloin the tenderloin over here is 299 a pound so 1408 you do get two in here each but they're really tiny 
the pork shoulder is $2.39 a pound and $38.07. Actually, pork shoulder is on discount to the fifth. You get $6 off. Okay, and we have lamb loin chops, $7.99 a pound, $21.57. So they're $8 a pound. Highest in here is $24. Then by Kirkland, the rib roast rack, $15.99 a pound, $27. And this one is $7.50 a pound. The boneless roast for the lamb is $54. Okay, they have marinated carne asada. It's $10.99 a pound. Um, it really is cheaper just to kind of make it yourself. So we're looking at $40.55. $40.55. Depending how much you need. But yeah, I just like to make it myself. Um, and then the Santa Maria uh, tri-tip USDA choice is... $7.99 per pound so we're looking at highest $31 just giving you an idea lowest in here I see $29 and the hatch chili this one's new the hatch chili and pepper jack cheese stuffed chicken breast okay that sounds pretty freaking good it is $7.99 a pound so $20 lowest is $16 this might be a good like side thing to have I think that, that looks really good not gonna lie beef pot roast $7.39 per pound so we're looking at pretty much $18 all right you guys I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here in Costco I know we've seen the Bailey's before a lot of people were asking me about the seafood and a little bit of meat hopefully that gives you an idea of the updated prices on the meat please stay safe and I will see all of you in the next one